Moving on from Ayurveda, there is another system called acupressure. Another very, very scientific stream of giving treatment where the energy of your body is being utilized to give you treatment. If you have certain pain in your neck, And if you happen to be in a company of somebody who knows acupressure, he may never touch your neck. He will ask, give your hand and he will start pressing some finger. Or he may start rubbing your leg. Do you know why? Because human body is comprised of nervous system. There are a lot of nerves in the body and it is said that every single human body, do you know how many meters of nerves you have? If they all are put in a single line, one can touch earth and moon. That distance can be covered from the nerves of a single human body. It's such a web of nervous system in each human body. And think our forefathers must have studied it so well, so deeply, so intensively that they know that if there is a pain over here the nerve goes to this point and if you click it from there the pain goes so it's a science unfortunately that science is dying because there's no r d into it there's no pumping of money into it there's no governmental support into it but that does not mean that there's no science acupressure is another science medical science chinese developed it further this acupressure for the last 5,000 years history shows the Chinese developed it into acupuncture. They started using needles. And this is a Chinese system of treatment where again the science is same that this nerve is probably being blocked and creating a hurdle on the other part of the body and thus there is a pain or the stiffness or toughness. So if you puncture it over here, the pain will go. So this is another sign. The third type of treatment, acupuncture, and this is not latest. It is 5,000 years history developed by Chinese. I don't know whether the Chinese government is supporting it or not. Otherwise, this could also become one of a very, very important streams of medical sciences. In Greece, Egypt, they used to have aromatherapy. Aromatherapy is based on oils. Various kind of oils, flavored oils. They used to treat human diseases through oils. And you might have heard about the stories which you think are fictional stories. That people used to remain youthful by using oils. They used to preserve mummies. After death, the body is preserved using these aromatic oils. You must have heard about pyramids. So even after death, the body can be preserved. Don't you feel it's a science? It's not a joke. The body starts decaying after that death. One has to either keep the body in mortuary or to keep it on the 
ice break, otherwise it will start decaying. And there is a science which used to keep bodies for centuries preserved by using certain, so they must have researched. Now even that aromatic medical sciences are in some sections of the society use. Now Kerala uses it. You must have heard about the Kerala massage. They use that aromatic therapy, aroma oils to massage your body and to make you youthful, fresh, to invigorate your cells of the body. What is that? It's another medical science. Otherwise, how you are so youthful? So not everything boils down to allopathy that you feel that only this cream or this powder or with this advertised thing that you can become, your face can glow. No, even oils can make you glow. Then there is homeopathy. You might have been aware after allopathy, homeopathy is very prevalent. Made prevalent by a German scientist. Though it's ancient. It's not that the German scientist developed it. He discovered it. That with the combination of certain preserved essences, one can heal and treat. And do you know, homeopathy is a very personalized treatment. Unlike allopathy, if you visit a homeopathy doctor, he'll make you sit for an hour or two to know your history. He wants to know every aspect of your body, life, the routine, because he wants to give you the treatment specialized, specific to your anatomy. Allopathy is general. Blood group A, blood group B, A positive, B positive, everybody is treated by the same tablet. Does the doctor ask you before giving tablet, what is your blood group? So allopathy has its own deficiencies because it's based on chemicals and that is the reason in allopathic treatment sometimes you cure one disease but develop another because there is a reaction to the chemical and it's not specific to your human body. It's generalized research R&D happening general in from some pharmaceutical company who never bothers about you. He tests it commonly first on animals and then on human bodies and then prescribes. Then there is one more prevalent medical practice called hypnotherapy. People feel that hypnotherapy is some kind of magic. It's not. It's a science where you are hypnotized and hypnotizing is another skill where your mind is relaxed where it has been researched that the body is governed by mind and that moment you start relaxing and treating the mind the body starts healing it's a science. Hypnotherapy. And each of these variety which I am telling you are very scientific. We have been told constantly that except allopathy, rest all is quack. It's not. Only thing what is true is that these therapies, these type of treatments are not developed. There used to be masters of these areas 
Today, nobody is following it up because there's no pumping of money into it. There's no governmental support into it. There is no giant pharmaceutical companies doing R&D into these areas of medicine treatment. Therefore, these type of treatments are losing the sheen, but they are all scientific. Then from Tamil Nadu, India, there is another variety of system of treatment called Siddha treatment. I don't know whether you have heard about it or not, but Tamilians must be knowing Siddha treatment. There are 18 Siddhars. They have examine the human bodies and they have divided into different parts and that is called Siddha way of treatment. It's a Tamil and it's still practicing. In Tamil Nadu if you visit there is a Siddha treatment and it's a very very developed science. Quite near and quite similar to Ayurveda because Ayurveda is Sanskrit based and Siddha treatment is based on Tamil. And that is why, because Tamilians, unfortunately, are a very closed-door society. Therefore, Siddha treatment has not crossed the borders, have not become prevalent and popular across India. Otherwise, it's a very, very scientific system of treatment, Siddha treatment. One more prevalent practice of treatment a Japanese method is called Reiki. You might have heard of it. Off late it has become popular. So many of quacks start telling that I will give you Reiki. Reiki is using one human energy and supporting the energy to another human body. Have you ever experience that the battery of your car or your scooter is low, another car battery is connected to your car battery and it is called jumping the energy and suddenly your car starts. So what is this happening? Energy of another car battery is given to your car battery through a wire and your car battery suddenly wakes up and your car starts. What is this? Transfer of energy. And that is the system on which Reiki works. Your human body is getting depleted energy and a healthy human body with full energy with a human touch is transferring energy to you. It's an art, it's a skill. Not that everybody can touch and start giving that. But people have make a, made it a fashion. Although you can develop so much of that skill that from a distance also you can give Reiki. You, there's no need for touch. And the energy can be transferred from one human body to another. Our scriptures are full of these stories. What was Vardhan? By this hand, all these stories which you read, by giving the by raising the hand, Vardhan is given. Or by the verbal speech, energy is so much that a shrap is given. So that means human body can be developed with so much of energy which can be transferred. That is Reiki. Then there is Yunani. Yunani system of treatment. Though developed in ancient Greece, traveled to Arabs. And now Greece has forgotten, Arabs have forgotten, we in India are following that Yunani. You will still find in Mumbai, Yunani clinics. It's another stream of treatment.